I want to say a special thanks to Chris Carter. I asked him to come back and, and be with us today, and obviously congratulate Troy Smith to have his name in this incredible stadium. What an honor. Uh, our fans, as always, um, and that stadium was electric, so very appreciative of that. Uh, also, uh, a lot going on, a lot going on. We have a, a young man that's missing, Costa. Um, uh, our prayers and, and thoughts are for him and his family and have him return home safe. And then obviously we lost a Heisman candidate today, uh, JT Barrett. And uh, I think he set the record for the, in the history of the Big Ten Conference for uh, touchdowns, and that's, uh, that's a tribute. So we gotta, we got to go. we got to go, and uh, we've got a lot of confidence in the guy that's going to be doing it. His name's Cardell Jones. He's been here for, I think, 120 years. Uh, he's been here for a while. He practices. He's going to get all the reps. And um, so we got to be ready to go. I'll answer the questions for you. Front row, Todd. You coming in today that win, lose, draw, you were playing in a championship game next week. But now without JT, I mean, the, the season sort of ends how it started f for you guys. How do you guys pick up and, and go on? Well, quarterback's a product of those around him. You know, and that was uh, the fourth down and one call with uh, – you know, hand the ball off to a very good running back and an offensive line that blocks you. You're going to have to make some plays at the quarterback position, which he has all the talent in the world. Just And the, and the good thing is he's going to get a lot of reps. You know, the one thing about when you had JT, Cardone didn't get many because you're trying to get him ready to go. Uh, but obviously, uh, you know, we've had two quarterbacks go down, and, and we're going to find out if we earn our coaching stripes and, and do a good job. And with JT, is there any update? I mean, is he for sure out next week? And uh, Yeah, he's for sure out. I don't know the whole extent. I'm going to go right uh, when I'm, I'm done here. Uh, over the left, Bill. Could you just describe your emotions this week with Costa, with losing JT uh, yeah, this game today? I mean, it's one of those you're just kind of – all you can do is grab a knee and, and pray hard, and uh, uh, not one person can make it through this kind of week. You need your strength and, and – uh, uh, and, uh, you know, on the team, I, I know there was a lot of prayers on the team for because a lot of the guys are, are friends with Costa. He was only with us since August. So to say I knew him that well, I didn't know him that well, but I uh, talked to his mom a few times and we're just, you know, come home safe, man. Uh, front row right, Tim. You're yeah, open at fourth and one. Uh, obviously, I had a timeout. Uh, what was the conversation like? Uh, uh, and th that call, who came up with that call? Uh, it worked, so I'll take credit for that. That was mine. Uh, it was... Uh, we gave him a, a little set that we haven't been in before with the two backs in the backfield and uh, a little motion over the top to try to hold the backers because their backers are so downhill. And um, I simply asked our offense line coach um, and very charismatically, can we get it? And uh, without hesitation, he looked me right in the eye and said we can. And uh, a lot of conversation went into the play call about who we're going to run behind. And he ran right behind Elfline. And, uh, uh, Taylor, and uh, they're good players and uh, at all confidence in the world. Uh, standing left, Austin. You talked this week about you know, wanting to sing the fight song after the game, win a rivalry game, and you've had this 24-hour rule for you know, celebrating wins. Can you still enjoy a full 24 hours now that you have to maybe shake some things up on offense? No, no, we're going to enjoy that. I mean, we're going get to get to work, so 24 hours, yeah, probably I'll give them 22 because the coach has got to be back in tomorrow, and uh, I'm still not sure. Do we know who we're playing yet? No, Is that they're playing right now? now, yes. Yeah, so we'll find out, and, and, uh, but we are going to enjoy this. I mean, this is, uh, for those of you who grew up in the state of Ohio, uh, this, was the, this is the game, and uh, there was a saying one time that said, oh, you, got, you can lose every game other than this one. Once again, I don't buy that, but uh, that's the way we approach this game, and our guys are going to enjoy this, but they, they know what's ahead of them. You know, senior tackle used to be, that, that all started, I want to say it was 101st year of senior tackle this year, and back in the day, that started when this was the last game. There, were, there weren't games after this, I guess the Rose Bowl. Uh, but this was the last game, and, and obviously there's, there's going to be uh, more after this one, so we're going we're gonna to enjoy it, but get back to work. Front row, Bo. Urban, you uh, talk about all the emotional swings that you guys have had to deal with your team, too. You also got Michigan's best uh, on, on this day. What does it say about your team, the way that you guys responded in the fourth, uh, to really put it away and, and kind of feel good the last couple of minutes? Well, I think there's another key part of the game is the two-minute drill right before the half. That was uh, – we weren't playing very well. We kind of bogged down in, uh, uh, you know, 95-yard uh, drive, getting them up on defense. So to come out in the second half, go right down the field and score – and uh, our defense created turnovers. So I'm very pleased. Once again, the special teams were outstanding. We uh, did a good job punting the ball. Uh, Cameron averaged almost 50 yards per punt. Um, so uh, it was a just well done game. 
far left. Tim? Urban. Uh, losing JT, how do you think that's going to affect your you know, chances to make the college football playoff and your resume in front of the committee? I didn't think of it until you just said it. I, uh, we won the game. I think it's all going to be how we play next week. And I think we're going to have Cardell ready to go next week. And far right, Clay? How uh, active could Jalen Marshall be in the quarterback situation now? Would he be more, yeah, more duty uh, there? Uh, I, I mean, that's, as you guys enjoy the victory and they enjoy the victory, that's what I'll be thinking about and Tom Herman. So we, uh, I can imagine he'll be involved. I'm told you're the first uh, guy to 3-0 and in his first three games against Michigan since the mid-30s. Um, proud well, of that, we'll I take assume. That. We, we'll take that as a coaching staff and as a team. That's a, that's a hell of an honor. And last two questions, far left, Doug. Urban, can you just talk about what was going through your head when you saw JT go down and you went out on the field to see him yeah, like that? Yeah, that, that was a sick feeling, you know, any time. I love JT, but, uh, you know, when Christian Bryant went down last year and you just, you know, the leadership involved. The good thing is I think we're more, we're, we, have, we have more leaders on this team right now than we did back then. And, and uh, uh, yeah, just to, I'm sure like everybody in that stadium because that kid's a freaking warrior, man. And injuries come to guys that strain as hard as he does. He's a strained guy. I mean, it's uh, just the way you see the way he plays. And, and how many teams can still be good when you're on your third quarterback in the season? Isn't that Buck tough? Buckeyes can be. I'm not worried about other teams. The Buckeyes certainly can be good on uh, – I, I've said this for many, many times that the quarterback's a product of those around them, and the guys around them are playing pretty good right now. So we're going to, the good thing is they have skimmer, similar skill set. And um, so it's not like we're going to have to drastically change things. And last question, uh, Bill. Urban, um, you kind of being pushed around or not playing very well the second quarter. How big was JT getting it into the end zone with seven seconds left? Huge, huge. Uh, and we you're still had get the two ball. timeouts. We had two timeouts, and I uh, kept watching that clock, and we had them kind of rolling a little bit. I almost burned it, but I wanted to, you know, we had him going a little bit. So that, I think that was a difference in the game. You know, Lou Holtz has always said the first, the last five minutes of the first half, first five minutes of the second half, that's all where all the momentum's at. And uh, we went in the locker room with a lot of momentum. Great. Coach, thank, thank you, you very much.